Okay, guys. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to spend a little time and educate you on tips and things that you should know, need to know, have to know, got to know about when you're going to purchase hair like Brazilian, Indian, Malaysian, the list goes on and on and on. First thing I will say that it is very imperative that you know the grade of hair that you are purchasing. A lot of people look at price and that's it. You, um, When you go online, a lot of times they describe this product and make it seem like it is what to get and they have these amazing prices. The problem is sometimes they are not always as honest as they should be in regards to those prices. 6A, 7A, 8A, 9A, and uh, 5A, uh, those actually mean a whole lot between the grades. 8A being premium. When you reach 8A, grade 8A here, You've reached a premium virgin Remy hair okay so 6a is actually not as good as hair as the rest of it um, but what they do I believe it's a acid bath that they give the hair and they put a finish like a silicone finish over it that's why sometimes guys you can buy this hair and it's gorgeous and flowing and you think you have got a good deal after you wash it or it penetrates heat you notice it balls up or it's not the same luster as some people's hair it is because a lot of times they put chemicals on it to make it appear to be something that is not upon purchase now every once in a while depending on the company you can get pretty good 6a hair 7a is great 7A hair is not premium, but it's not a huge, gigantic difference between the 8A and the 7A. Um, I suggest if you cannot get 8A premium hair, that you try to get 7A. 8A premium, this hair can be bleached and your 613s and colors like that, you can definitely pull the AA premium hair. Now let's talk about Remy hair. A lot of people are very misinformed. They, uh, they say, hey, I want Remy hair. I want good hair. This is Remy, this is Remy. Guys, Remy hair is only the cuticles lining up. Whatever type of hair that you purchase, and you see Remy, that's all it means, is that the cuticles line up. Guys, trust me. I don't know everything, every single thing about hair. No, I don't. I will not claim to know every single thing about hair. I know a little bit about hair. I make wigs, I sell hair. I've worked in a beauty supply part-time before, so I kind of know a little bit about hair. And one of the questions that was asked so many times is this good hair well this is how you tell look at the weft of the hair make sure that they have not cheated you um it's hard to do that when you're purchasing online um to look at the weft closely they have done so many different things they sell them in half quantities where you have to purchase four bundles at this when you're we're really only trying to purchase two because they've had it and the bundles are super small. Um, guys, what else can I tell you? It's just so much to learn. But right now I'm kind of distracted. I'm cooking and guys, it smells good. So give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is my dinner. I am super hungry. I smell it, I'm ready to eat. I cannot wait. While I'm shooting this video, I smell the food. I had to stop, come and look. Oh my gosh. Whew, 
Doesn't that look delicious, guys? Oh my gosh, now you gotta see why I have to hurry up and complete this video. Anyways, what else can I tell you? Um, the difference is in the grades. Make sure that whatever you purchase, you know what's in it, what it's made of. Guys, sometimes they even mix 100% virgin Brazilian or whatever gray hair and they mix it with synthetic fibers. Synthetic. So not cool. This causes tangling and matting. Um, what else can I say? I suggest that unless you have a good fender or a store where you purchase the hair that you just know that it's good quality hair, you've used it before, keep using what you know. But if you are looking, those are things you look for. The grade. The quality, how it feels, look at the weft. Make sure that your ends are lining up together so that there's not a tangling factor. A lot of times when the hair is choppy, guess what? When it starts rubbing on your clothes or whatever, yes, you're gonna get matting because now the hair is all different lengths and it's not falling correctly. You definitely want Remy. You definitely want 100%. Guys, I can go to countless websites where they offer this Brazilian hair. It looks gorgeous. It looks like you want it. And they don't even specify the grade. Now, when you go to the store and you purchase food or products, guess what? They have the ingredients on the back. Now, some of it you may not be able to understand, but it's still present. How do you not say the grade of this hair? The grade actually is the healthiness of the hair. So... A younger person someone with very vibrant luster hair is when you start getting into the 8a grade and above so guys I hope this has been helpful um I know so much more but I'm kind of like rushing to eat right now and I probably should have eaten before I did my video but I just wanted to share a little bit with you on tips and things to look out for um, like I said, I mean, I know hair pretty well. I sell it. Um, I make units. I've done hair since I was in the sixth grade, guys. Come on, I'm like 39. I've worked in a beauty store for part-time for a long time. So I kind of see like the differences between the hair and quality and what isn't quality and um what else to look for so there's a lot of people that complain about the hair and i'll ask them first what grade what grade did you purchase they don't know they didn't look it's not specified okay well guess what if i go buy a vehicle i want to know if it's loaded what's in it what does it come with be specific. Anything you purchase, you should definitely get specifics on it so you know exactly what you've used your money on. If you don't do this, guys, I mean, I hate to sound mean, but you can't get upset if you don't know what you're purchasing. It's up to us as the buyers or sellers, it's up to us as sellers, to actually make sure that that customer is very aware of what you're actually selling. When you don't see these things located when you're buying this hair, be very cautious because let me tell you, when I sell AA Premium Sweetheart, I say it is AA Premium hair. I make sure that is notated. Um, I don't, actually, I don't do it big time. I just come to family and friends. I just, I thought about making a website and doing, but you know, it's just, something I do on the side I make wigs on the side it's just something I do for like people that I know but um that's just TMI so you really didn't need to know that but what I'm trying to explain to you is that I pretty much know about hair and for a long time I would look at people and their hair and guys I'm not afraid to ask questions so I would see someone with gorgeous luster hair look like they just may have finished in the gym 
And I would say, excuse me, I'm like, your hair is so pretty. What are you actually using on it? Because I wanted my hair to look like it, that too. Well, they would tell me. I use the products, they tell me, guess what? My hair would look nice for a day. It went right back to, but I found out it was the grade of hair that I was wearing. It's not always the products. I spent countless dollars on products trying to uh, recreate <laughs> what I first purchased. Now it's gorgeous when you first get it and you think you have good hair until you have to do so much maintenance to it, you begin to wonder how good is this hair actually? Because I'm gonna tell you something, the 8A premium hair I have, honey, I barely do anything to it. I run my fingers through it. You don't have to constantly brush it and it's 18. The frontal is, I think 14. And then it's 18, 20, and 22 inches. And I don't have a problem with it. And I've had it quite some time. I wear it and it flows effortlessly. And you guys, that's one of the things that you want in hair. If you spend a lot of money on hair, whether it's um, a couple hundred or above or even if you take $100, even if you take $80, know what you are purchasing. Know the grade. Understand if it's Remy, meaning cuticles line up. Understand if it's actual virgin hair. Understand is it blended with synthetic or have they given it an acid bath to play off the fact that it's actually not as pretty as you think, as what's displayed in the package. Guys, these are a lot of tricks different places use, um, especially online, especially online. They advertise these unbelievable prices and you purchase it thinking you have quality in honey. After a wash or after a week or two of wear, it looks like you could have bought um, maybe yakky, some sort of yakky human hair, and sometimes not even human, like blended. You know, it's just crazy how they do. But anyways, guys, I'm getting ready to go eat. I truly hope this has been helpful to you in some sort of way. If you guys already knew this information, then just know that I confirmed it. If you didn't know this information, I'm glad to have given you information that I know to help you guys along the way when it comes down to picking hair. Anyways, guys, keep on being fabulous. Keep being great. And until next time, I'll see you. Oh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Yep. Right, mm -hmm. right there. Right there. Over there. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time.